everybody, it's me, Michelle Lynn Tackett, and everybody has always wanted to see me do my makeup, so I might as well do one video to show you all how I do it, so I'm not going to yak around too much, so let's get to it. First, if you don't have like a, a moisturizer or a lip balm, use a toothbrush, make sure it's damp, and just remember to do easy circle motions. And do them softly because you don't want to hurt your lips. To moisturize your lips. Don't use it dry. And don't be rough. Because <laughs> these are your lips. Next, I like to put on some blush and eyeshadow. I, w I would do more, but unfortunately, like I told everybody, our wonderful, loving landlords, all our stuff away. So, we're stuck with what we have, you know. And I like to use, this is from e.l.f. My wonderful friend got me some makeup and stuff. Thank you, Manisha. Thank you, honey bunny, so much. And this is a six brush system. Just barely put a little on. Now, when it comes to using a brush or whatever, when you want to put on blush, just put a little bit on. You really don't need to do it, you know, heavy, because as I'm saying in the video here, I'd rather do a, a voiceover right now, but you don't want it to be obvious you want it to blend in naturally with your skin so just put a little bit on and try to get colors that match your skin as close as possible a little more color wet and wild has a blush right here so that way you can give, give your cheeks a little more color don't want to overdo it though now that i've given you advice on how to do your cheeks and stuff with blush. This is pretty much the same stuff, so I'll just let a little music play. Roll it. So after that, I like to go for the eyes, but I'm going to have to skip mascara because I don't have any, and I'm going to go straight to the eyeshadow. I like to do eyeshadow first because... When I do my eyeliner, I don't want to put eyeshadow over eyeliner. So, I think I'm going to go with a little ruby. But first, I'll put a little dazzle on here. And let me get my cute little eyeshadow brush. Now, first, I'm going to go for a little sizzle down here. All I'm really saying here is you want to go across first. Like what I'm doing here. And then go down so that way you'll cover your whole eye. At least that's what I do. You can do the way you want. But it really works good for me when I go up to down. And I like to do it twice with two different colors. And the last one I used was ruby. Because I like red on my eyes. So I love it. Okay. Now... Take our blending brush. Or you can just get a sponge. So next up is LA Colors, I guess. And time to do the old eyebrow or eyeliner, which can be very, very tricky. For me. Eyeliner is probably the hardest to do for me because it is so precise. That's why I think you need paper towels or toilet paper handy. Especially if you're like me and you're not exactly the steadiest of hand because you can get it on you. It's ridiculous how clumsy I can be. But um, I try my best. And if you want to do a little winged eyeliner... I recommend going under your eye, just under the lashes, and then flicking it in an upward motion, and that can help you get a nice little winged eyeliner, which I think looks kind of cool, so. I can't really do from the other side, like, you know, I can't do that. It's at an awkward angle and stuff, so, excuse me while I get a paper towel. Some people prefer to do the paper towel wet, I do it either way, but 
you know, what seems to be more comfortable for people. You got all the, you know, it's no big deal. If you mess up, it's not the end of the world. But now, finally, I'm going to wet my lips again. My favorite lipstick. And this one's a little dark. It's wet and wild. Okay, let's see how it fits on uh, this old gal. Okay. Now, what I like to do is pump. Okay, get it out. Gently get the excess off. Now, I treat liquid lipstick and bullet lipstick a little differently because with liquid lipstick, I like to be a little more precise. And I put it on twice so that way it lasts longer. With bullet lipstick, I do it three times, but the texture is better on liquid. And I always like to dry, you know, use my hand to dry, make it dry a little faster. And then I, I press my lips together and then, yeah, I don't like to dip the, the liquid lipstick in there. So that way it gets a lot as much and then get the excess off. So that way it goes on smoother. One more matte blot to make the lipstick, I think, look better. And voila, I am done. And now it's time to ham it up for the camera. So that way it looks like I'm having fun, which I am. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching the video. Thanks to my Patreon. If you can join my Patreon page, give this video a thumbs up, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I love you all very much, and be happy. Thank <laughs> you.